Good evening folks, just looking at the uh, counter coming up there that we're live. It's Wednesday. I'm Wendy from Dogs of Pride. Hello. And I uh, hope you're all still staying well and everything out there. Um, thankfully, uh, a lot of these tiny little businesses just like us uh, will hopefully be able to get some more support with the government's new things that just uh, were revealed in the last day or two. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I know a lot of people are struggling out there. We try to continue and we try to bring you some information. So let's forget about that for a wee minute or two and find out about some Pure Paws sprays. We are the official Canadian distributor for Pure Paws and have been for, ooh, almost six years, I think, or just past six years. Yes, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, we love the line, obviously, otherwise we wouldn't carry it. And uh, they do have a lot more um, safer, better quality, higher end ingredients in it. And um, hi Morgan. And um, we we like that they, they challenge everyone to check out ewg.org, which is the environmental working group, to check against their list of ingredients to see where they actually fall within toxicity scaling. And I mean, it goes from like one to 10, I think, or one to five. Um, but you'll find that theirs are all around in the one or completely negligible. So the way that they actually source their ingredients as well, they do a lot of research themselves, which we like, because you know we go into all sorts of stuff. And um, we tried and test these, and actually it's the only line of products, pretty much, that I use on my own hair, so the Pure Paws. Yeah, it didn't do much with it tonight, as you can tell, but that's still Pure Paws in there. Um, so sprays, um, whenever I was first introduced to grooming sprays, I thought, oh, that's a lot of fad, that's a lot of nonsense, you don't need sprays for stuff, what's that for? Oh, it just makes them smell pretty, because the only thing I'd ever been introduced to in the way of sprays, uh, as I was learning and going through the years before that, where maybe a little finishing spray, spritz it, make it look nice, smell pretty before it goes out the door with your customer whenever I was grooming. And, uh discovered that these things do an awful lot more than that so a lot of people are still on the fence and they like look at it do the same thing as I did at the beginning and go well what's that for don't know how to use that so they don't buy it they don't use it the people who do buy them the odd time and try one or two tend to fall in love with them so sorry I will warn you but the one thing that you'll find with any of them is that they last an awful long time they use, so as I say, the, it's to do with the quality of ingredients where you're getting such good end products that they're actually going to last a lot longer. They're a lot more effective, a lot more efficient with just a tiny little spritz here or there. You don't need to douse the animal in these sprays for them actually to have some effect. Um, so whenever you find that out, and that's usually the mistake that um, people will make whenever they first try the Pure Paw sprays is they use too much because they're comparing it to some other brand that they've been using before uh, where they were used to the four or five pumps and then they find out that oh this is greasy it's sticky it's it's nasty I don't like it it's because they use too much once they rebathe that dog start from scratch again and go with one or two light sprays and less is more they find out they're getting a better result from using a lot less so whenever I first started carrying this line as well, I thought, oh, people aren't liking them because the, the reorders weren't coming. And then they all started coming at once. And I found the reason was is because they were far outlasting so many other products that had been out there before or are still out there. So you do get what you pay for. Uh, we keep our pricing really, really, um, we sharpen our pencil on keeping the pricing out there. We don't have a lot of other vendors doing the Pure Paws across the country. So we tend to have it more within that nicer price line that people will actually be more tempted to look at something and get something a little bit more quality. And they usually pay off in the long run. Also as well with all of the Pure Paws products as well, we have a 100% refund guarantee with any of them. So you get something, you don't like it. It doesn't give you the result that you were looking for. Not a problem. You can send it back, you can bring it back to me or call me and go, Wendy, don't like this. Maybe there's a different way that you could use it. Maybe there's a better way to be using it. Maybe you're using it with a diff different line of products and those ingredients just aren't gelling well. So we're always here to give you advice in that. 
And so that's something to, to take into consideration. I'll start off with one of the, the favorites. I'm going to cover three of them today. It's the Forte Strengthening Spray, our Oats and Aloe Spray, and the Terrier Touch, which is for terriers, yes. And we'll get to that. So Pure Paws Oats and Aloe Spray. This is one of the yummiest scented lines in the whole lineup, in my opinion. Other people would differ, but this is one of the most popular ones that some groomers will actually resell in their stores as well because the smell is lovely. But apart from that, that's not really why this is, is, is being made. The best thing with this is because we do have a very good quality colloidal oatmeal in this, along with aloe vera, which helps to soothe the skin and nourish and moisturize. This is good for a brush through spray in between grooming. Whenever you're brushing your dog at home during these times where you can't get to your groomer or your groomer shut, basically you need something to brush through the coat with. So this will work on generally all breeds. Um, it's also very useful on those itchy skins, itchy flaky skins as well, will benefit from this. Now the if the itchy, if it's sort of moisture, um, climates have they been from swimming and things like that, oatmeal will actually tend to dry out and draw out impurities in the coat. So a lot of people don't like going overboard with oatmeal and shouldn't go overboard with oatmeal, especially lower quality brands, because that will have a drying effect on the coat and therefore over drying will ask the sebum to keep producing, which is the oil in the dog's skin, to then try to compensate for that loss of moisture and you're adding insult to injury, a whole snowball effect, the dog's itchier, you're bathing more, you're causing more dryness. So this is a nice balance that you'll find because of the balance of the oatmeal and the aloe vera, which everyone knows is wonderful for moisturizing and soothing. So it will calm down itchy skin, it will help a little bit. It's also great as a brush through spray. So the best thing to do is that just spray directly on. And I always say, instead of going straight in and squirting that directly onto the dog, spray it up the way so that the mist is coming and falling down. Do that along the length of the dog's back, let it fall onto the coat and then work it in and brush it in. And then you'll know as well, if you need a little bit more, even apply it from your hand or from the brush right into the coat. But spraying that directly into the coat is gonna leave one big targeted area and that's where you're gonna have the greasy issues and stuff that people like to complain about or have the issue with. So this is very, very handy to look after that coat, look after a healthy skin in between grooming. Um, you can also use that in conjunction with the Oats and Aloe line, hence the reason it's called Oats and Aloe, because it matches that line, but we're doing the sprays. So that's that one. Um, the Forte spray, Forte, mm, strengthening spray. That should give it away a little bit. It's, well, you can't see it, St sunlight's on it and everything's reversed, so that's kind of silly. Um, but the Forte strengthening spray is basically your keratins. Now, if anybody has seen all of your um, keratin shampoos for our own hair, you'll know that that's a strengthening product. It helps build it up, helps it make stronger. Keratin is basically all of the, and, and the collagen and everything else is basically the building blocks within the skin and the coat. So it makes it stronger and you need more keratins to make a healthy coat. You also need to make it stronger so that it's going to encourage growth. And a lot of people in the show dog world, especially with the long coat of breeds, are always wanting to promote growth. Now, uh, it does have collagen in it as well, which increases the elasticity, which is very useful. So that's also nice as well, and the skin helps that move nicely through. So what you wanna do as well is that with this, it's an add absorber as opposed to or it's an aloe which would be more of an absorber difference being one little letter big difference in how they actually act with an adsorber it sits on top with an absorber it goes in so the keratins are designed to sit on top whereas you've got your parthenol and your collagen and aloe vera in this as well which are tend to, to go in help that skin elasticity help the moisturizing that bit's great, that's soaked in. The keratins are remaining on the top. So if you know what happens when you apply something and apply something and apply something and apply something and apply something, it builds up. What's gonna happen though? So you have to be careful. Too much of that and boom, you've got breakage in the hair. So use this intermittently with the likes of that one, perfect. If you're wanting to do that, you could also use it intermittently with 
intermittently, that's the better way, um, with the H2O, with the Silk Basics, with any of the other lines that are out there to help you build that coat up. Um, and in between using it as well, you will be bathing the, the, the dog so that you can actually take some of this build up off or most of all of the build up off and then you keep building it up again because you're already bringing that coat down. It's making it longer. It's making it more um, uh, stronger as well to help that. So different ways to use this. So you can apply this onto a wet coat um, whenever you've just come out of the bath and actually then dry it into the coat. So it will actually then grab onto the hair follicle, make that stronger, absorb into the skin, make it nice and supple, make the moisturizer come back. So it really helps a lot. Um, if you're wanting to do it on a dry coat or even just onto crispy little dry ends or anything like that, you can actually re-dilute this a little bit, put some into a spray bottle, half and half with distilled water. They always recommend distilled water because tap water can have all sorts of different minerals or chlorines or fluorides or whatever else in it you don't want. So distilled water is always the best thing to mix your products with. Um, as a, uh, whenever it's talking about sprays anyway. And then um, you can just spray that onto the dry coat, work it in, you can actually sort of fluff dry it in as well if you want to, or if you're actually bathing and drying at home people and you're using your hand hair dryer, make sure it's on the cool setting, please. You can burn a dog's skin very, very quickly. You know if you've, heard, if you've held the, the hot air onto your scalp, too long that's hot that's three times more to a dog because their skin is only a third of the thickness of a human's i don't know how many knew that but i always say it you'll say it again so there you go this will help you get your thickness get your growth get your um length so that is your one to, to do that with so this is one that you use occasionally in your regular min grooming so you go one one two one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. So every third one, you'll go with this one. There you go. So that's the forte. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> I never know. I always try to ramble because people don't like watching long videos or listening to me forever. All right. So show shine spray, terrier touch recommended and actually helped formulate by Gabrielle Rangel, who is a very top uh, crafts or Westminster dog win show winner many, many times. And uh, he actually helped uh, to put his stamp on this whenever Arlene was formulating the line. And basically, a lot of people go, you don't put don't put a spray on a, on a terrier, you don't condition terriers, you don't do this. You do if the product is made specifically for them. What makes this different is because this doesn't contain any silicones or oils that will soften the coat, which is exactly what terrier people do not want to do. They don't want to soften the coat. So they have this, which is a nice polishing finishing spray as well. More than anything else, I like it for. It's always great as well in the grooming room. If you have those little terriers, even if they're clipper down, it doesn't matter. You can still make a nice finish on that jacket, especially where you usually have those rich colors coming through. And the best way to use that is to spray it up again, away from the dog, letting it fall onto the coat and getting yourself a boar bristle brush. Pigs, boar, boar bristle. So a natural bristle brush, not a cheapy nylon one um, because that's not gonna do anything except create static and probably ha help to break hair, which you don't want to do. So you're not wanting to soften the coat with this. So spray lightly with that, go in with your boar bristle and then go down work it into the coat which is lovely to, to help into that skin because skin needs to stay healthy to produce healthy hair um there are op also optical brighteners in this as well so whether it's the the paler colors whether it's the nice black jackets whether it's the brindles whether it's the fawns it doesn't matter that's going to help to refract the light off the make it bounce and make every color look so much deeper and richer and in the show ring it will just show amazingly. Um, been there, seen it. And uh, yeah, and Gabrielle has uh, also shown us many, many times in Westminster as well. So that is basically, oh, one last thing about the Terrier Touch as well. There's also odor eliminators in it. So a lot of people, especially the Terrier people who don't like bathing their dogs because they've always had to be bathed with lower quality shampoos for the last 
three, four decades, and uh, nothing that was specifically made for terriers. We do have terrier specific products here. Pure Paws makes them specifically for terriers. They don't over soften the coat. And for those of you who still don't want a bath and don't want a condition, but something to polish that jacket with before you go into the ring, oh yeah, who doesn't want that? So we're gonna have the Terrier Touch Show Shine, Boar Bristle Brush, and also as well with that, the odor neutralizers will stop it smelling like a little stinky terrier because we all know terriers like to get stinky. Um, so I'm thinking that's about it. I'm gonna wrap that up. I hope you have enjoyed watching. I've seen a few people on there today. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to be a nut forever and I will leave you tonight and say, stay safe and stay the blazes home, will you? All right, all the best. We'll see you next week. Thanks, bye.